My name's Alan Hart and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up a Salus programmable room thermostat. This is, if you're going to get a new thermostat out of box, you're going to set it up for first time, this is what we're going to do in this video. This thermostat that we've got today is the Salus RT520 RF. When we power it up for the first time, these are the options we get. So first of all, we'll set the language. So I'll click on there, so we can set English. You can adjust that if your customer speaks a different language. But for this one, we're gonna do English. Time, 24 hour or 12 hour. Again, we just click on the tick. We can set the time. So we'll just click one o'clock. And if we just put two minutes past one, the year, 2023, click on the tick. And then the month, we're in September at the moment, and if we just put put the 10th, so 10th of September, display, so you can have it on days of the week and just have numbers as well if you wanted, but most people's going to have days of the week. Again, we'll just click on the tick, daylight hours, daylight savings, so that'll adjust to when the clocks go back, that'll adjust the clock for you, so you can have that on or off. We'll click on. So then we've got display. So if we click tick, we can adjust what we want the temperature to go up in. So if we if we want it to be like um, 12, uh, 20 degrees or 20.1, we can do it like that. Or if we want it to go up in 0.5s, we can have it as 0 0.5. So most people's gonna have it as 0 0.5. TPI, so we can set this. So we're gonna set that to radiators. For a normal radiator system, click on tick, optimize, so you can optimize the start, so it can it can learn the system, and you can also, so we can turn that on or off, and then you can also optimize the stop as well. Again, we'll just turn that off on this one. So that's all set up now, so the the programmer will work with the pre with the factory preset settings for the time. So now what we can do, we can go into this, we can go into the settings button, we can go into schedule, click on tick, and then we can set what we want. So we've got Monday to Friday there, or we've got Saturday and Sunday, or we've got all the days on there, seven days, or we've got separate days as well. So we can set these to whatever we want. So we're just, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna do Monday to Sunday. So we'll click on the tick, so first of all, we'll set on what time it's going to come on on the morning. So if we set that we're going to get it to come on at 7 a.m. And then we'll set that to, we'll just put 10 in there. So 10 past 7, it's going to come on. So we click on the tick. And now this is the temperature that we're asking it to come on at. So we might want it, say, let's say we'll say 21 degrees. We want it to come on on the morning. So we'll click on the tick. And now we're asking it what time we want it to go off. So now we're going to work. We might go to work just before nine. So we might turn it off at nine, click on the tick. So again, we'll just leave that as zero, zero on there. Click on the tick again. And now this is the temperature we want it to go. So what we've got to remember, these clocks, they don't have a normal on off. They have a high and a low temperature. So we're going to say if the house goes below 18 degrees, the heating will still come back on. If you wanted it lower, you could turn this right down. So you could turn it down to 12 degrees if you wanted, or even lower. So we'll click it on 12, and we'll just click on the tick. And now this is a now a lunchtime setting, so we've got program number three here. So we might want it to come on at two o'clock, and we want it to come on, to click on the tick, zero, zero. And then again, we'll turn this back up. So we want it to come on, we want it to be 21 degrees, click on the tick. And then we want it to go off to program number four at four o'clock. So again, we just click on the tick. And we'll set this to, well, we can set it to whatever we like. So we'll set it to 12 degrees again. So this is the temperature, the setback temperature. So I'll click on the tick. And then this is now the evening setting. So program number five. And that's going to come on at six o'clock. And again, we've set it to 21 degrees on there. So just click through that, click click on the tick, 21. So we can set that wherever we like again. 
we might want it a bit warmer on an evening so we set it to 22 and then what time do we want it to go off so this is 10 o'clock so we can adjust that if we want to click on the tick and then again the temperature so this is the setback overnight maybe that you want this maybe you want it about 16 degrees so if it goes it, if it goes below 16 degrees it'll still come back on this is the thing that confuses people sometimes and that's just set back in now i hope you found this video of some use if you do have any questions with a salus thermostat or any salus products please put some comments below and i'll try my best to do another video on that to help you Thanks for watching.